Hey everyone, I'm Larry Chen. My job is something that I always say shouldn't exist. I travel the world taking pictures of the coolest cars, coolest racing, all that. The problem is, when I'm watching other people have all this fun, I need to have fun myself. And finally, Toyota built a car that I feel like is perfect for the casual track goer, drifter, and you can drive it to the track and drive it back. Let me know when. Today, we're doing as much as we can, coilovers, wheels, tires, GK Tech angle, a lot of the running gear just to get it prepped. I actually took the car to Vader Works. My buddy Gino put on the same livery that is on my A90 Supra. Just because I wanted to have two GR cars. We have one, that's the Supra, that's for filming other drift cars. This one's going to be actually the drift car and potentially I could have my Supra filming me driving this thing. We also had a chance to take it to Rival Auto Works to get the handbrake installed. This is the easiest car to do an oil change on. Look at this. This is the most important thing. It is the lifeblood of the engine. We're also doing an anti-gravity battery because the traditional lead acid battery in a car has fluid in it and it'll slosh around when I'm actually drifting. And so we're gonna go with a anti-gravity lithium ion battery, which also saves a lot of weight at the nose of the car. For cooling, we're going with CSF aluminum radiator. When you're getting up in the temps, it's a lot better to have something like this that has aluminum end tanks. We're also changing to HPS silicone hoses just so all of the cooling system is updated and ready to keep the car cool on the track. I hit up my friends at Vivid Racing and they actually built a steering wheel for me that retains the airbag. Got a little GR badge here. What a nice steering wheel. On a drift car, it's really important to be able to turn the wheel more than the, just the stock, potentially 40, 45 degrees. The GK Tech Angle kit will let us turn up to 65 degrees. The suspension bits that we're doing today are ST coilovers. We're replacing this factory strut system with a fully adjustable coilover. So not only do you have height adjustment, so that adjusts your ride height, you have dampening as well as reach refraction at high speed. The ST guys surprised me with this. Every spring, says Larry Chen Photo. We have um, Magnaflow Neo Series exhaust, which is kind of like their updated exhaust that's, I feel like, for the more modern tuner who maybe does not want the car to sound too loud, but they still want the performance. Oh, it's so shiny. I know. So cool. Special delivery. For wheels, we went with Motegi Racing. We went with their MB Battles, seven spokes. It's very clean and I wanted it to stand out, so we went with white. Oh, that looks yeah. so good. I'm so excited. It's so cool. And it's super flush too. Yeah. Look at that, it's perfect. It matches the mirror. I love it so much. All right, let's see it, moment of truth. How's lock? Oh, wow, look how close it is. Pretty good angle. And it doesn't touch anything. I think the front needs to go up a little bit. Is that good? I think so. Oh, that's, that's a true two finger gap. There's so much left to do with a build like this, even though it's still a simple drift car and it's mostly bolt-ons, it still has to go to many different places, many different shops. Does it look okay? Yeah. <laughs> Timeline wise, we're definitely coming down to the wire and every day is really important for us. It looks so good. Again, I'm very candid about the fact that I'm not a builder. I'm a photographer, I'm a storyteller. I love cars and I love working on cars. I love driving cars and that's why I'm doing this project. Just to show that somebody like myself can build a car like this.